Oh. Do you have strong storytelling abs? I'm not talking about the kind here. I'm talking about the core of your story, strong storytelling abs upon which the entire story is built. You're not sure? Stay tuned. What are these storytelling abs? Abs is an acronym for and, but, so. For this video, we'll focus on the and part of the story. Have you ever listened to a presentation and it felt like it was just one long run-on sentence or it was just a bunch of facts and all you could think was, I'm so bored. Well, chances are very good. It's because the presentation was a series of facts, figures, and data connected by the word and, or maybe it was implied, it wasn't stated. It was 2017 and I was here and this person was involved, and that person was involved, and this happened, and that happened, and this was going on, and it's a series of statements that is just one fact after another connected by the word and. If it's long enough, it becomes very boring, doesn't it? If that's all you're going to present in your talks, put it on a PDF and send it out. Nobody wants to hear that. That's not a story. With that said, it is important that our stories do give context and a setup. So you do want to have a few and statements. I like to introduce the people involved, or at least the main character in the beginning. Where did it take place and when? And that's it. You don't need a huge buildup. You're not writing a novel. You're creating a meaningful and memorable story. Give us context, and then that will lead us into the B of your, of your abs. What is that? You're going to have to tune into the next video to find out.